Hey, I wanted to share a little video here showing how to do a couple of things that might save you a lot of time if you end up in a situation like I did today. What happened was my wife worked very long on a document that someone had sent her from it that was created in Microsoft Word. She uses LibreOffice. Did all kinds of editing, worked on it for three hours maybe, saved it, closed it, and when she opened it back up, it was completely messed up in terms of formatting. It was supposed to be all in tables and it was just a mess. I'll show you what it looked like when she opened it. So, <coughs> we're waiting. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so this is what it was. I should zoom in a little bit here, maybe make it a little bigger. Okay, all of this stuff is supposed to be distributed across a table with two columns. Now, obviously, it's not anymore. So what it's supposed to look like is something like this. First of all, before I do any more work on this, actually, I'm going to remove all formatting. You do that by selecting all, and under the Format menu, choose Clear Direct Formatting, or you can select all and do Control-M, what I normally do. Um, so it's a little bigger so you can see it better now. Uh, the removing formatting helps to see what all is going on here. It's spread over several pages and um, there. Okay, so what it's supposed to look like is this. You have, it's a course syllabus for a class that she teaches and it's supposed to look something like this. After week one it goes over there and then there is a line called day one, day two, day three for each week of the semester and it looks like this. And where is... okay. So one week in the syllabus would look like this. Week one, tab, dates, day one, tab, I'm gonna put a tab in between each of these. And then once you have tabs, uh, the, the easy way to get content into a table when it's not in one already is to have tabs delimiting each of the fields. So this now has content that will spread across two columns. Over here on the left column, week one, day one, day two, day three. In the right column, dates, course introduction, erste contacta, and so forth. So I've selected it, and now under the table menu, I will choose to insert a table. And boom, it makes a table. And then you can adjust the column size. Now what we want to do is that but for the entire thing but look at all this there's so much there it would take forever to uh, do it all if you were to search for every little bit in that you need and press enter press tab and so forth so we automate this i'm going to do control z to undo all of these things that i did actually i'll go back to here so what we do then is use a regular expression to find uh, regular expressions if you're not familiar with them are ways to use wildcards and uh, it's a much more flexible way to search and replace stuff so I'm going to do what I want to do is find everywhere there's the word week and that starts with a capital letter because see up here there's the word weeks with a lowercase letter and I don't want to make a, a new line right there but I do want to put one every time there is an uppercase week and the reason this is possible at all is because it's highly structured um, it's very consistent it says week one dates and then day one day two day three week two dates day one day two day three and so forth if this were not structured so carefully it would be impossible to do this as efficiently as I'm about to do it so I'm going to do find and replace and the way you do this you can hit a keystroke that is let's see I don't even know what the oh okay here it is on the menu I always hit control H to do find and replace but it's on that menu so I'm gonna search for the word week and I'm going to replace it we have to check mark regular expressions, check mark match case because I want it to be case sensitive. Going to replace it with a new line that's backslash in 
and then I'm going to use the ampersand which is a wild card that says replace it with whatever you were searching for or whatever matched your search you replace it with the new line at which is essentially like pressing enter and then the word week in this case so now I will click replace all and it has done so 42 times now the next thing I want to do is find uh, we need to put a tab in between week one week two week three and so forth and the word dates now the easiest way to do that is going to be to search for the word dates in all caps and replace it I'm going to do control H to get my find and replace uh, oops, I didn't I didn't do that right dates okay search for the word dates then replace it with a tab character followed by the word dates it will replace it to what it uh, found now I'm going to click replace all and it has done so 42 times see now every word dates is preceded by a tab now we need to get day one day two and day three on their own lines as well and this you really do need a regular expression I'm going to search for the word day and if you look up here you'll see that I have in brackets 1-3 that is a regular expression that will match any numbers from 1 through 3 and when it finds those it's going <coughs> excuse me it's going to replace it with a new line which is a, like pressing the return key and whatever it found and follow that also with a tab because what we want is to have day one on its own line and after the number one a tab and then have this stuff over here on the other side so this is going to press return replace it with whatever it found and then put a tab let's go for it hang on let's make sure regular expression yeah let's go for it ta-ta replaced 126 times and now as you see we have all of these things lined up the way they ought to be and I can put them all into a table by just selecting them let's select she has three different syllabi here I'm gonna go down to the end of the first one week oops what happened here okay I'll just go up this way let's select all of these things man where did it go Let's try this one more time. I have the shift key held down and I'm trying to... Oh, forget it. I'm just going to select all. <laughs> and then under the table menu, click insert table. And now all of that stuff is in a table. And you can resize the table. Whoops, I lost it there by just dragging this over. You can drag it over. Why is it not doing it? That's so annoying. There we go. Got it that time. So I can do that. You can also do fun things like, let's say I want um, the words day one, day two, and so forth to be lined with the right side of the column instead of the left, and that would help distinguish it from that. You can use another regex substitution. Um, we'll search for the same thing we did before, only this time <coughs> we will simply replace it with itself but we will choose to apply some formatting to it and you'll do that by clicking on the format button and click on the alignment tab and choose right and then replace all look at that isn't that cool and you can also do things like if I wanted to make all of these week one, week two, and so forth bold, I could do a search for week one and so forth and then choose under format to make the text bold and stuff. There's all kinds of ways you can automate very tedious things like this as long as the data is structured. So now let's choose to un or to hide the non-printing characters and that looks better. Now, one thing that um, my wife also had to do was right here where it, the new syllabus starts. She had to 
split the table and you do that by positioning the cursor where you want the table to be split choose table and then choose split table and let's say no heading okay so now that begins a new one there okay well I guess that's about it hope you find something in there useful